Assistant Setters of the Week presented by Ivy Rehab. I'm here with Jenison and Lozian from Pacefield Hockey. Pretty amazing week for you guys. Two wins over Merrimack and Franklin Pierce this past weekend. Two to one, both games, and you had the game-winning goal in both of those games. How does that feel? Uh, it feels great. You know, um, at the beginning of both games, I kind of just had this feeling that I was going to play really well, and then the team just together pulled through as a unit to take home both of those wins. You guys played pretty amazing this weekend. It was kind of a nail-biter, but it felt great to watch you guys get that big defensive win at the end as well. Like, how important is it for you guys to make sure you play a lot of defense? Oh, very important because um, a goal can be scored off of one opportunity, so we always have to be, you know, on our toes, especially when there's only a few minutes left in the game. Now, I know a lot of athletes out there, whether they're professional or collegiate athletes, have these, like, weird superstitions before games. Do you have any of those? Um, not really superstitions, but I do wear the same sports bra and spandex. Now, is that something that you've always done, or is it kind of just, like, recent? Like, you just thought, like, you know what, this works well for me. I've basically always done that, yeah. Now, a lot of people, myself included, didn't really know a lot about field hockey. So how is it that you got started playing the game? Well, I actually didn't know what field hockey was, and I played soccer, actually, until I found out some of my friends were on the field hockey team in middle school. So I figured I would try that out. So you just have that natural talent is basically what you're telling me. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> well, of course, we have to ask you, how's it feel being named Center of the Week? It feels great. Thank you so much. All right, there you have it. Your set of the week, Jenna Sinozian. And now we're here with Matt Corey from Pace Football. Matt, you guys played Bentley this past week. Kind of a scoreless game, majority of the first half. What was the dynamic like of the defense? Um, I feel like the defense went in with a really strong game plan. We knew what we wanted to do. Uh, we studied pretty well throughout film, uh, knowing their tendencies. And like uh, we didn't want to get fooled by any of their formations that they came out with. So I feel like the coaches did a great job with the game plan. And you, you yourself pretty much had a great game. You had 15 tackles, three and a half for loss. What was working well for you that game? Um, I got to give the credit to the defensive line because they were keeping the offensive line off of me. I was able to scrape and make a couple of plays in the backfield. Um, really made my job a lot easier out there. And you guys, um, this week is homecoming. You guys are playing Southern Connecticut. What are you looking forward to the most going into this game? You know, I'm just looking forward to another opportunity to improve as a team, you know, to work better as a team, to gel as a team, and hopefully get a win at homecoming. And of course, we have to ask you, how does it feel being named setter of the week? Um, it's really nice to be uh, recognized for your accomplishments, so it was nice. And there you have it. It's your setter of the week, Matt Corey, Pace Football.